Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with layering with some stencils using the new Dina Wakely stencils from May 23. So I'm starting off in my little craft journal, popping in some gesso, just because I wanted a little bit of contrast on my page. Um, while often in my craft journal I sort of just work on the craft, sometimes having that little bit of a white base behind it really, really helps. So once I've finished doing that, I'm pulling out my new alphabet papers and you can see the gorgeous new Dina, you can't really see it, I'll put a picture of them up on my Instagram, um, tote bags that you can keep everything in. So I found that I put my tissue papers in them and my stencils in them and they're just next to my desk and I can just grab them and, and sort through them, which is really, really handy. So I'm going in with my gel medium and chucking down some of the different um, alphabet tissues, overlapping them, just putting some black and white in the background. So I find having this sort of melange of different textures, different shapes, different styles of writing in the background just helps to break up that it's not a white page but fear of the white page so I don't necessarily think about what I'm doing it's just chuck this down oh, I've got stuff on my page now now I need to cover it over so for me it's a really great way of um, starting my journal pages without having to think about it too much I've been really into finger painting at the moment so um, I've just been putting out little blobs of paint and then just using my finger to rub it in Again, this works really well when you've got gesso or gel medium underneath it because it slides smoothly over the surface. Always good to have a wet wipe next to you so you can wipe your fingers off, particularly if it really bugs you having paint on your fingers. And you can see, while it's still damp, you can mix the colours together. I wish I hadn't been quite as heavy handed with my um, marine there as I was, but you know, yeah, it's also my favourite colour. So to pull that back a little bit, I just used my wet wipe and sort of ghosted some of that, um, I think it's called sideways um, stencil through it. I then added some cheddar onto it, which I was actually really surprised kind of worked with the colours on the page. It did kind of obliterate the, um, the pink in the background, but that cheddar and the um, marine surprised me and how well they work together I suppose because they're almost um, opposites on the colour wheel. So I decided I'd want to put a little bit more of the pink back in again. So I'm using this um, angled lines stencil just to create a little bit of direction on the page um, and a little bit more I suppose formal lines. So this is sort of the stenciling overlapping creating the layers. With these stencils is really handy because you can actually overlap them and match them up like I've just done um, to get an interesting effect. So I had two really sort of strong lines coming from either end of my journal. I then decided, which I'm really happy I did, to put in some of the, I think it's called legit um, neon pink and it really helped pop the page and again it surprised me by how well it worked with the um, cheddar paint. Um, it really worked well against that sort of orangey yellowy colour. I've been using a lot of the transparencies in my work at the moment so this is another beautiful transparency face. I like them because they're faces that are there but they're not completely in your face even though it sounds ridiculous to say um, and also you can still see what's going on in the background. A lot of times when I'm doing stuff and doing backgrounds, I get comments on my YouTube going, oh, but you've spent so much time on your background, now you're covering it up with stuff. So um, this transparency is a really good compromise to that because you've got this beautiful image, but you can see everything underneath it really, really clearly. One thing I do um, add to it though is a little bit of paint pen to highlight the eyes. Um, and you can see here I'm using some of my Stabilo Woodies, which are the kids' version of the Stabilo All Pencil, which is designed to go onto glass and plastic and so on. So actually colouring on the back of the transparency is a really handy way to use them. Um, and by colouring on the back of them, 
um, and then gluing it down on the page, it's not going to smudge or smear, the colour is going to stay where it's supposed to stay. So I'm just using my white glue, my PVA glue, and sticking it down on the page. Again, it will dry clear, so you don't need to worry about it um, having white dots on it where you don't want them to. It won't take very long and it will dry clear, so it just looks like this page um, image is just there. If you really don't like the shine, um, you can get rid of that by painting over it with matte gel medium. But to be honest, it, apart from the fact I've got a um, ring light sitting above it so you can sort of see the shine on it, when you've got it in your book in regular light, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. So it's a really handy tool to have um, to add stuff into your journals. As with all my journal pages like this, I'm just looking for a quote to pop onto my page and I've decided to handwrite this one. So I, um, it's basically about, uh, it's not what you look at, it's, um, it's not what you look at that matters, it's, but, no, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Um, which I really love that quote because since having my kids, that's sort of been a really huge one. I used to go for walks and not actually notice stuff, but now I go for walks and I see the moss and I see the mushrooms and we find the rabbits and so on. So it's um, interesting how you sort of see the world through new eyes. Just to help pop the white out from the background, I am using my black pen just to do a drop shadow on it. So it's really, really fine. It doesn't look like it does much from this distance, but when in the close-up you'll see just having that really fine black line on the letters will help it pop out from the background, which is a really handy tool to have, especially when you're working with a, such a busy layered background. Just something soft. Um, and it can be any colour pen, black and white obviously is going to give you the most contrast but you could use any colour um, as long as it contrasts with the background to help pop out from the back as you can see on this page. So you can see all those layers, you can see all the stenciling, the ghosting, the layering over the top, you can see how the transparency fits into the page and it sort of all ties together which um, is what I love about layers. Sometimes you can sort of think, oh, have I put too much on? That usually means that you just need to go a step or two further. So trust in yourself, go with the layers, see how many you can add, have fun, and until next time, bye for now.